All right, everybody, welcome back. So uh, this is just one of those knives that's pretty rare nowadays. Um, this also belonged to a Marine. A uh, completely different one, actually. And uh, he lost it for a while. He ended up losing it in storage somewhere. And he ended up finding it <laughs> covered in dust and cobwebs. But he was so happy to have it back because uh, it's an original. And... Uh, there's a lot of places that like to make fakes of these and sell them as fakes, or sell them as the original, excuse me, and uh, reap the benefits and the profits, and I don't appreciate that. Um, they do this with Spyderco and Cold Steels now, and yeah, of course, Benchmades. So just keep your eye out on stuff like this. So let's go ahead, let's talk blades, everybody. That's what we're into today. I have for you guys, Benchmade. Uh, I want to see if you guys can guess without looking at the damn title, but I'm pretty sure you guys probably already know what this is. Benchmade Model for, uh, blah, blah. Benchmade Model 42. Yes. Titanium handles. And I believe the blade is a 154cm or an S30V, one of the two. This is an original... If you could see it, here we go. Balasong number 42. 154CM. Benchmade, USA. Um, now, this was... This is on loan to me uh, by, the, by a person who wants this to be sharpened. And um, I told him I'm not a professional sharpener. I told him, I said, hey, look, straight out, I just want you to understand, I do not sharpen blades uh, for a living. It's not my profession. Um, and he looked at me and he goes, I don't care. If you can put a decent edge on it, I don't care. And I told him, I said, are you sure? Because this is, you know, what if I mess up? And he goes, I know you won't mess up. You care too much about blades. So even if you do mess up, it's probably not even going to be that big of a deal. So I kind of chuckled and he handed it to me. He's like, here, um, you know, do something with it. Give me, give me back my edge at least somewhere. I said, okay. Um, I've already tried giving you fair warning. And he looked at me and he goes, I know you well enough that, uh, you'll do a decent job. It might not be perfect, but at least it'll be, give me something, you know? So, so, uh, I told him, I was like, well, I'm going to feature it on my channel if you don't mind. And he goes, I don't have a problem. I said, all right, cool. So, really, really happy to have this on my channel. Very, very nice. Uh, I've heard about these. I've uh, I've seen them. Obviously, I have um, had a few. Uh, obviously, I don't carry them, but they're just relics for the most part. This is actually really, really cool. It's got the uh, spring latch right here. So, you could uh, have it opened or closed. And of course, you got to put a little bit of pressure and it pops open either way. Really cool. Do I know how to use these? Yes, I do. I know how to use them very well. Um, I'm not professional or anything, but uh, I know a little couple of tricks here and there. Especially with the real Balasong knife. The thing is to uh, know where the bite handle is. And this is considered the bite handle. So you don't want to hold the bite handle because that's the handle that's going to cut you. So here it is open. Here it is closed. Open. Closed. <laughs> uh, I know a few other tricks like I can hold on to this and let me see if I can do it. Hey, there we go. Catch it open. Closed, open, closed. Yeah, it's pretty decent, pretty decent. It's, it's very, very decent because of what it is. It's the Model 42, and um, these are very, very hard to come by, very rare, and uh, for good reason. So we'll go ahead and get into the specs of this knife if you're at all interested. I'm pretty sure that's why you're here. In the first damn place, so go ahead and get the uh, 
the weight going, why not? 4.42 ounces on this bad boy. And we'll go ahead and get into the length. Ah, there we go. That is a four and one fourths inch with a cutting edge of three and three fourths inch. Overall nine and a half inches. Trying to keep that all in frame there. Uh, when it's closed, you're looking at five and one eighths. And then of course, I don't know if this is important to anybody, but the blade is at a 2.9. And handle's going to be at 11.0. And this way, looking at a 21.9, I don't know. <laughs> a couple of weird little... Now you're probably asking, how sharp is it? Well, considering that it was in a storage unit sitting there for who knows how long, and it didn't even get any rust, which I'm actually very surprised. Um... Or he could be lying to me, for all I know. I can try to see if there's somewhat of an edge on this thing. <sighs> so there is an edge. It is a workable edge. As you can tell, it did cut through it. It's not a very clean cut, for that matter. Not at all. So it does have an edge. And uh, why not? I'll bust out the paper and see how horrible the edge is on this. Yeah, the edge is horrible. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Look at that frame. That is just bad. And, of course, here's the paper. Yeah, this is not a clean cut whatsoever. This is absolutely horrible. So I might... I'm going to try and put somewhat of a decent edge uh, back on this thing. But with uh, with balisongs, it's pretty difficult sometimes because... Metal's always clanking around, and depending on how your balisong is designed, keeping a razor-sharp edge on it probably might not last for too long, depending on the blade material, handle material ratio, all that other good and happy jargon that everybody finds interesting and both boring at the same time. And that's what makes me nervous. It would be all for a waste of time, um, but there are stop pins, you know, there's a stop pin in here that makes sure that this blade does not meet the handle. As far as you can see, the blade is actually not hitting the handle at all. You know, but uh should be fine. It's not really hitting the handle. The blade is not touching the handle at all, so this might actually work out. Now, there are times when uh, knife construction is pretty bad and uh, you put a nice sharp edge on there and you work really hard and all of a sudden it just dulls up after a while. Unfortunately, this is considered a gravity knife, um, so it does not make it uh, any much more easier for me to carry one of these. But I do know how to use one and I do have a couple as relic. Um... But they were just given to me as gifts, and I don't really use them for anything other than flipping. But now, what I use is my squid. My, uh, my squid industries squid <laughs> butterfly practice. So I think those are really fun. You can carry those around and won't get in trouble for them. But because this guy is military, <laughs> he, can, uh, he can carry this around no problem. Uh, and purchase it, which, you know, lucky for him. Mm -hmm. Good for him. But I'm really happy to have this on my channel. I think this is really nice. I've heard of these. I've never really seen one in person. And now holding the real deal. And this is real. I've actually done my homework on it. I've been looking, trying to make sure that this is not a fake. And I found that this is 100% real. It's a little bit beaten up. It can use a little bit of TLC. Um, screws on there are a little bit worn down. You can tell that this has been used and abused and carried. Maybe a little bit of knife oil in there somewhere, but it's a little bit dirty. It's just, uh, it needs a little bit of a love and care, devotion, all that good and happy jargon. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of soap, you know? 
But this is a really, really nice treat to have on the channel. So uh, if you're looking at a price tag on this, um, I don't know if these are still in production through Benchmade. I think they are. Uh, but you're looking at a very expensive knife. I've heard them go between three to about five hundred dollars uh, for this particular model. So um, someone told me that this is kind of like the holy grail of uh, Balasongs in uh, in Benchmade's lineup. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that's true. Uh, this is a very nice Balasong, but I don't think that this is like the the best of the best. I think that there, you know, there are other knife companies like Hinderer Knives and and uh, Bear and Son that makes pretty good ones. Um, but having a knife that's around about a five hundred dollar, I think that better be a damn good reason why there needs to be a five hundred dollar knife. I mean, two or three hundred dollars is still pretty damn hefty. So <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. Anyways. Good old Balasong, the uh, Benchmade model number 42. <sighs> Happy to have it on my channel. I think that's actually really, really it's pretty sweet. Now I can say that I've actually handled one, <laughs> you know? Anyways, slash that like button, stab that subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go ahead and hit that bell icon so that way you guys are notified anytime I post something new. So please, everybody, be kind. Be safe, carry responsibly, and I will see you all in the next video.